Hello Nathan, this will be some video feedback for the business card letterhead and your ideas for the leave behind. Uh, Nathan, this um, sort of brown or coffee and Prussian blue combination is very nice. I like how you've employed it throughout your business card. <coughs> now I may mention from a couple weeks ago that you could um, see what you could do without having to outline the uh, the end perhaps I like this logo design very much uh, remember this is a script so some of these letter forms probably should touch each other um, that's up to you but anyway be aware of the letter spacing certainly on the logo portion of your the, the, on your logo and uh, two the I like the nth idea uh, that means to, you know to the extreme or um, could you drop this th out in white okay so here's a suggestion get rid of the brown outline, drop the TH out in white, make the des word design this coffee color. That way, I think you would simplify it a little bit. Um, you would get the TH more clear. That Right now, there's not too much contrast. Typographically on here is great. I'm not sure you need this bar. Um, and also, it, you know, it's tricky to print to the edge of a business card and have this border even in width. I mean, it can be done if you trim them by hand, and maybe you'll want to, uh, but getting it to uh, register, I guess, from side to side uh, could be difficult at that scale. Um, I like that you've limited the number of typefaces you've used. Keep it airy, I think, and uh, don't hesitate to repeat the logo somewhere else. It looks like it's going to look good, small. Now, on your letterhead, uh, <clears throat> again, this issue with bleeding, especially on 8.5 by 11, Sometimes it's impractical because uh, sheets come trimmed eight and a half by eleven, and some printers or many printers cannot print off the edge of the page. So be aware of that. Um, again, I like the color combination, but you don't want a white border around the edge. I like the way you centered this type, but you've introduced this uh, third color. Um, is is that a third color? I think I'd like to see more of it for it to be considered part of the corporate palette. Now, there wasn't much to, to see here um, with regard to your uh, your leap behind, and so I wasn't you know really sure what to what what I'm thinking what you're thinking of, which I guess is stickers. Um, that's fine, you know maybe as an application too, uh, a sticker on a bag of I think uh, who is it, uh, Kristen, in this class is doing a bag of um, jelly beans, perhaps gourmet jelly beans and another student is doing a bag of gummy bears and they're fixing their logo, which is a, a, a sticker, uh, on the packaging somehow. So, you know, either it's a box of candies or whatever, but it'd be nice to see an application of the sticker. Now, for the purposes of the rubric and the class, uh, that's fine. What you've got here is, is perfectly uh, proficient. Well, quick question. I reread your bi biography and you mentioned a Honolulu blue is that the uh, the color of the of the logo? That's sort of slate blue. It is it, it is great, very unique and characteristic. Um, it, are, are you intending that your logo get a retro feel? Names like Honolulu, you know, blue suggest something from the fifties to my ear, at least. Just curious.